boxer loves the ring, loves to compete. And Jazza would have been in the ring every day if he could. But since joining the GB squad, he'd been overlooked in favour of more experienced fighters. Then he dropped the bombshell. We've come off the GB squads, turned professional. The last seven months of it, didn't get one fight. Just getting looked over, weren't sending me no tournaments. So I'll take my chances and go pro by the time the Olympic comes. I'll be somewhere down the lines of pro. When Jazza told me he was going pro, I suppose I'd seen it coming. But leaving the GB squad meant counting yourself out of the Olympic team. You can't box in the Olympics as a pro. I was always hoping that you'd box in the Olympics. You know, we hold it on to that team for many years. So when I first heard James was taking himself out of the squads and go professional and then he couldn't box in the Olympics and stuff, I, I was... I was told James was making a hasty decision. I was thinking, hang around, Jacob. Hang around and do what you need to do and you box in the Olympics. To go to the Olympics would have been, been lovely, but I've got what I wanted. And I'm still young, so I think I'll make a good pro. Boxing is James's love of his life. James wants to be a British champion and then go on further. That's James's goal at the moment. So, yeah, James made the right decision for James. How do you think it's going to feel when you're watching the Olympic Games and you've seen some of those guys up on the TV there? It'll be hard to watch. I think Tiazza has made a big mistake. I honestly do. I think the potential that kid's got, he's gone too soon. You know, the Olympics are around the corner and he was on the GB, you know, squads. And they thought a lot of him, you know, and I can't understand why he's gone pro. But I want to be world champion, so we'll take a step by step. Be British champion, European champion. Hopefully world champion one day. Jazz's gym, he's, he's a great little fighter, he's gonna he's gonna win win a lot of things and I reckon he'll become world champion, he's that good. Have you seen the Jazz on there? Jazz there, caught me far out, tap. All set, away we go. We try to get them out the gym like once once a week or so, you know what I mean, on a, on a Friday usually. But we don't always do the running, sometimes we take them climbing or take them uh, well, various stuff really, running, jumping, throwing things, you know, just sometimes, um, sometimes different stuff as well, different disciplines. It's good for the mind, gets them off the gym and um, gives them something different to do for the day while still getting what we want from them, which is you know, good work rate and that's good. Good feet there. One nine, great race, well done, Daddy. Great team. Jazza is a machine. He, um, he's the most, most dedicated kid I've ever seen, well, man. I've ever seen in my life. Jazz used to do his running at six, and uh, some woman he was speaking to once said, I do my running at six, and he went, and if she's doing it at six, I'm doing it at four. Runs at four, you know what I mean? Um, it's just the way he is. Couldn't ask for a more dedicated, hard work and boxer. I don't know if you caught the ass end of that sprint work they were doing then. The other lads were pushing themselves into the red, fair enough. But Jazz uh, pushed himself past that, you know what I mean? He was, uh, he was dead at the end of it, but money in the bank as far as we can say. No, no. And he's talking to heart and that's it now. He hasn't, he hasn't. Oh, you know what? Oh, yes, John. That's it. 16 foot. Oh, 16 yeah. foot. <laughs> that's flashed it. Yeah, it's flashed it. Well, I don't know about boxing in the Olympics, lads. You better start doing the long jump. That one's flying through the air. Oh, no, he's he's oh, he's 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 Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom Stalker, uh, brilliant South Pole, world number one. What he does, he comes down and he does some, he does some pad work with us because he, because he likes to, and we like having him here. No, you don't get to, you don't get to be world number one unless you're an absolute grafter, you know, a real hard worker, another beast, another man beast.
Flip flop. Boxers all have a certain level of proficiency, do you know what I mean, about the shots that they can throw and the things that they can do. But some fighters have got great instincts as well, fighting instincts. It's where, uh, it's where the lads like Tom, Jazza, the other boys here, sort of excel. Jerry's fighting, Jerry's fighting for It's a good little bit of lad, isn't it? Yeah, Who's promoting it? Atten? Is it Atten? Yeah, this guy's shoulder. Hey, oh. You'll get to the top, Jazz, because you, like, you love it, lad, and you, you, you're in the gym all the time. And Talent, lad, so. yeah. Same as you. Same as you. Hard work, dedication, right? <laughs> Hard work, dedication. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I still go up to Sheffield now, now and again, spar with the lads. And I'm glad for the lads as well, who are also doing well for themselves. No way, um, no resentment, not like that. Good to see, good to see English lads doing well for themselves. It is a good team spirit, but I was always, always for myself. I knew that I was going up there for my benefit only. It's good to have the crack and that, but I was always in bed first when the lads coming out. I was always up first as well for the morning run. I was um, boxing to a man's sport, and if you don't, if you don't live, how are you gonna, how you wanna be in the ring if you, if you don't deprive yourself and if you, if you live, live the good life. You obviously, you're not doing it right, are you? I've got no regrets, I'm happy where I am. Sport. Boxing now and James Jazza Dickens returns to the Liverpool Olympia tonight to thrill his ever-growing local fan base as he takes on Latvian fighter Yanis Puxins. Now boxing out of the Everton Red Triangle stable, he's hoping to bring a little Jazza Matthaus to tonight's bill. Every fight, I, before I go in that ring, I'll get on my knees and I'll, I'll pray for my opponent to come out there safe. I pray that he's, he's going to be okay. It's, it's just sport at the end of the day, isn't it? When I was young, I used to look at people fighting with no top on, no way guard, and um, I used to say, wow, look at them, they're warriors, you know, that'll be hard, that's what I believe I'll do it one day. We're friends, me and James, we're friends as well as father and son. Yeah, I'm just so proud of him. School, the teachers used to tell me I wouldn't go far as a boxer, and I sort of presented the teachers for that. I used to think in my own mind, I'll show you, I, I will do something as a boxer. They didn't see what was going on in the gym, and I obviously did, so I would like to thank them for whatever I've done so far. You do feel the pressure, you want to knock them out, because that's like, what you... That's what you know people want to see you do. They want to give what the crowd have came to see because they've made the effort to come down and watch your box. Seeing him shout for me, it was the best feeling I've ever had in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, a new winner. Now, at the gate of nine professional contests for James Jazza. To have fans is much more important than any amount of money you could ever make. To tell people to follow you is amazing, isn't it? Honest to God, not long. You watch our best kid, he's going all the way. Very, very talented. James number one fan. It's dad. Yeah, it's dad most definitely. How could I not be? Um, how could I not be?